What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Nicole. My channel is all about home decor, DIY projects, taking you guys on a journey through or to making my first house um, like feel like home, one project at a time, one DIY at a time. Definitely check out my previous videos if you haven't already, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, if you are a working girl, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're just a busy, busy person that needs um, some tips and advice on how to manage everything that you do while keeping your home together, organized, cute, and all of that stuff, my channel will be of interest to you. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different this week than what I've been posting. I usually post reviews or um, the actual process of me doing different projects. But this week, I'm in my kitchen. If you've been following me, you've been subscribing or have subscribed and watched my previous videos, you know that this kitchen was um, a whole DIY project in itself. Um, I've done a lot to it, and I probably still want to do more to it, but I want to show you guys a clip of um, what's in front of, so what's about in front of what is, what is in front of me. So the opposite side of this part of the kitchen. Um, it is a kind of a DIY bar that I made. Um, I'll show you guys a clip. Okay, so this is how my DIY bar looks now. It was a half wall. A lot of houses have just this half wall, but it didn't have a tabletop. So I got a piece of wood cut specifically to match the size at my home improvement store. I glued it on with Gorilla Glue and then I covered it in contact paper to create this bar top. So oh, this is kind of where I expect people to sit. It doesn't fit a whole lot of people, but if you went to like a small lounge or if you were at a bar and, and there were only a couple seats left and you and maybe two or three friends were sitting together drinking, that's the kind of vibe that I was going for. But I also want your advice on um, next steps to kind of complete this bar. I think ultimately I would like it to look like this or similar to this. So I like the textured walls that's around this bar. I like that it's white and clean. I like the black stool in this one, but I think I want red for mine for a pop of color. And maybe I'll get a new wine rack or something that's cute. So since I know that this is a good workspace for me, it's kind of like if you went to a bar and you didn't really start drinking, drinking, but you just kind of wanted a, a atmosphere to like get your work done or like be inspired. Um, this is kind of going to be a space for that. So I want to kind of get some, definitely some comfortable stools that have back support because these don't have any back support um, just to make it a little more comfortable. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want, how many stools I want because originally I had four of these black stools. Two of them kind of migrated to other parts of the house. So I only have two right here right now. In next week's video, I'm going to actually do it and show you guys. So again, this is how it looks right now. I want to redo the contact paper on the bar top because I did a bang up job. I want to add some texture walls under where the stools are. Obviously swap out the stools, maybe replace this wine rack and do a couple other things. But next week's video is coming. Okay, so now that you guys have kind of seen what it looks like now, finally, right? Finally, I've showed the other side of the kitchen because if, if you didn't see this part, you would probably be like, you know, what's on the other side? How big is the kitchen? Especially like in my floor videos where I'm like doing the pill and stick tile floors. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. I'll, um, I'll uh, you know, put a card up there so you can check it out. Um, but you kind of may wonder how big is the kitchen? Like how much square footage does this girl cover? Um, whatever. But this probably gives you a little more of an idea of the full kitchen view. Um, but I want to get these stools from Wayfair. Um, it's two of them. I think two is fine because you can't have a whole bunch of people right here without like bumping elbows and stuff. So I might just get two. I was debating on black or red. The painting I did um, that you saw in the video, that's an original piece. I'm an artist as well if you're not sure or you didn't know that. But um, that has a pop of red. So with these black, so throughout the, this level of the house, I'm doing like white, nickel, black, and wood, right? With the hints of greenery. But I feel like in other parts of the house, which you'll probably see eventually when I start showing you guys DIY projects that I do in other spaces like the dining room, living room, etc. Um, I'm trying to incorporate little pops of color because I'm an artist. Like I, I want to feel inspired and that whole super neutral vibe is 
it's getting a little boring for me. Like, all of these dope modern houses, like, I, that's why I kind of did everything in white in the kitchen, like the countertop, et cetera. Um, and I took the paper off because I'm like, I want to edge it up a little bit. I want to add a little warmth to the kitchen. And that's kind of like a trend for 2021 as well. But I just really wanted to feel like my personality and the art and creativity. I want that to show through, especially when we have like guests come over and stuff. So that's why I was thinking the red stools. So I'm going to throw a picture in here. So these are the stools. It comes with two from Wayfair. Let me know what you guys think. Black, play it safe, red, pop of color and get creative. Um, because I really want this to be a space, like my painting is right there. So when I um, wake up in the morning, I have my cup of coffee, I'm like inspired. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's on the agenda for my nine to five? What do I have to do for my kid? What do I have to do for myself personally for like self-care? What do I have to do for Glamorina, my activewear brand? We're about to launch a new collection um, at the top of the year. So, so many things I have to do. And that's why I want my space to be like creative and just what inspires me and i think that's what my channel is really about is like helping you guys through what i'm doing uh to know that your space should really reflect you and, and be a, a place of inspiration because we all want to be productive in life we all want to like we all have goals we want to achieve right no matter what it is um and having your space the place that you come home to to be inspiring is like just everything like trust me it's everything when you when my place is a mess, and that's why when I bought this house, I'm like, I can't let this place get a mess. I can't let it get, uh, be a Debbie Downer type place because I, I, I have goals and I'm trying to achieve them and I need to be inspired and uplifted every single day. I can't go to a hotel or a Starbucks all the time and depend on that for my inspiration. I need to have that at home. So leave a comment down below if you, if you feel the same way. If you feel like, yo, my space can motivate me or discourage me or unmotivate me, let me know because I, I really feel like that's true. And that's a part of the reason why I, why I do art, why I do like this home decor stuff so heavy, why I love this home decor stuff so much. So let me know in the comments below if you're similar or if you're trying to get to that point, you know, to kind of just, you know, be a little more productive. But um, on another note, you may have seen in the video that I showed you at the bar that this there's contact tape on the bar, right? But the contact paper is, I did a poor job, okay? It's the same marble um, contact paper that I had originally on the counter over there. I'll link that video to show you guys how I removed it and how that process was in case you've done the uh, peel and stick countertop or in case you plan to and you want to see what the outcome will be if you decide to remove it afterwards. So I'll link that um, in the video. But yeah, I did a poor job. I did a poor job. And I want to fix it because I'm, I'm really focusing on the space and really getting it together. So I want to fix it. Next week's video, when I have my bar stools, hopefully, you guys got to help me out, okay? Help me out and let me know which bar stools I should get. I'll show in the next video how I put the bar stools together, depending on which ones I get. Um, I'll show me reapplying properly because I've learned. It's all trial and error. You don't judge me. I won't judge you. Like, that's what I say in all of my videos. So... Um, I'll show you the proper ways to apply contact paper in the next video. But you guys got to help me. got to let me know which bar stools I should get. Okay, so this is the close-up right here. You can even see some of the Gorilla Glue from me gluing this wood down. You can see how the wood underneath looks too since it's peeling up. But there's just some imperfections. Um, I don't even know what to call these lines right here, but those are like imperfections. Um, I, wanted to, I want to redo it the proper way. There are other spots like right here. It's pretty smooth. Um, so I want the full bar top to look that way. From a distance, it's not so bad. Nobody's ever came here and be like, yo, that's a terrible job. They just like, oh, that looks dope. Like, look what you did. I made a whole bar from scratch. Um, but yeah, help me out. And the last thing I wanted to say was um, just go over the actual steps of making this bar. So I just got a piece. I measured the counter, right? the piece, the ledge, I measured the ledge and then I went to Home Depot, so go to your local home improvement store and you can buy a piece of wood. They can literally cut the wood to the measurements that you want. I didn't know that initially, but you know, you do your research and then you find out it's just easy. Like I don't have to saw it myself because I don't like to like saw stuff. That's not really me, um, but they do it for you. So they measured, they um, took my measurements, cut the wood, the exact, um, 
size that I needed. It was already like sanded, I want to say. I'm, I'm new to a lot of this stuff, so I don't always know terminology. So y'all might hear me just talking reckless or just making up a name for stuff because I don't know. But pretty much it was a smooth piece of wood. Um, so I, I took that and I put some Gorilla Wood Glue um, to stick it down. It took like a couple of days to really stick down and like be like stay right at first I put the glue down I think the glue um said whatever the time frame was for it to stay it was like three times that amount of time for it to really stick so suck that down and then just wrap it in contact paper and boom I have a DIY bar I think I have anything else for you guys for this video um I hope it inspired you to get creative with um a project or something you want to do in your house and I'm looking forward to seeing comments about the bar stools, you guys, to see if I should do black or if I should do red. Is, is red doing too much? Um, there's nothing red in the kitchen. You might see a red cup in the dish in the sink right now because I need to wash dishes. Um, but let me know what you guys think. And in next week's video, I will show you a full revamp of this side of the kitchen. And then I think I'm done with the kitchen. Then I can revisit the master bathroom because I'm a little stressed out with that. So I kind of just put a pause on it. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys so much. All the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. Um, it's very helpful. I'm glad to know that you all are like inspired and like getting to work on your spaces um, based on my videos. I have so many people who inspire me on YouTube. So thank you guys for the inspiration. We're just one big happy community. So I'll see you guys next week for my full bar video.